Today I'm meeting up with an artist whose work is making Penn Station a little bit brighter for the next few months. Rico, congratulations. We are here at Penn Station and behind us is your art installation. Tell me about it and what that feeling is like. Yeah, so the, the title of the uh, installation here at New York Penn Station is Untitled Collective Light Transfer. I'm interested in African American, Native and Indigenous art and culture. Um, and so that's all sort of a part of this. Um, plus I wanted to do something in the space that was a reflection or a mirroring of like the energy in, in the station, you know, obviously with people like passing through. So how does it feel to be in a space that I'm sure you've frequented many times living here and have your work all around you? It's, it's beyond, it's, ex it's exciting. It's like, it's a dream come true, once in a lifetime experience. Somebody who might not be an, an art seeker or understand art, there's a feeling that this does evoke. And I think, especially if you're standing here waiting on your train, you're taking a look around, it has that energy of movement, but it has a calming, like grounding effect at the same time, if that makes any sense. For people who don't know your art, tell me a little bit about it and what inspires you. One of the things that like I'm interested in doing through the work that I produce, through the work that I make, is these points of access. Then, like, you don't have to sort of get in, go way down into like the catacombs of art history and theory to have an experience, you know? And so, I mean, that <laughs> that may sound a little weird, um, but- It's attainable. I, it's a, well, it's like, yeah, it's, it's accessible. The columns or the pillars presented an opportunity for me to like present this uh, totemic work. But then I, then it's like an expansion, you know, because I'm, I'm uh, introducing like my own sort of uh, uh, elements, such as um, the uh, concentric circles. Uh, combined with the stripes and these other elements. I'm attempting, I should say, to create something that feels very specific to me whilst sort of utilizing like universal symbols and forms. So I know you are also a sculptor. How did you make the transition to two-dimensional art? I like to say that I'm a sculptor who paints. So I never left the three-dimensional work. It's been nice to be able to sort of project onto the pre-existing um, architecture. You know, as we can see um, behind us, you know, in the columns, like there's a real physical uh, presence. What is the dream for you? To uh, have a major installation at New York Penn Station. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs>